Hey, what is going on guys? Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review of the University Blue Air Jordan 11 Lowe's. And wanted to give you a little bit of feedback on my first thoughts on this sneaker and overall quality and sizing and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys find this video informative. Let's first though check out this Soul Collector issue that has a bunch of different Jordan information in it. A lot of people ask me which issue this is. Big shout out to Jumpman Bossic because he turned it on to me. But you can see it says it's issue 22, February 2008. And in here it goes over all of like the staple colors of the original colorways of the Jordans and some PEs and so on. So anyways, you could see this is the Air Jordan 11 and inside of here you could see all of the different colorways that ended up releasing. So 2000 and 2001, they did a lot of good things. Space Jams, Concords, Reds. They introduced the Cool Grays and then the Columbia's retro as well. But we did have a whole bunch of Air Jordan 11 lows and we've seen a lot of these retro. So this is another one that we're finally seeing. So 2001, you could see right here, white Columbia blue is what they actually called it back then. And then you had the white Zen Gray and so on and so on. You could see a bunch of different ones. This one, this one obviously dropped recently the other year, the Citrus one, and then we saw the cherries already. Um, so we have a colorway here that hasn't dropped and a couple other ones as well. And then an unreleased one that they had in the pink. But this is a cool little Bible to be able to look back on and see some of the colorways and give you some information about the shoes. So definitely worth checking that out. I'll link this on eBay or something like that if they have it available for you guys. First up, we will take a look at the box. You can see just a gold foil Jumpman here down in the corner. Gold foil Jumpman down there. You open the box up. You have the 23 paper, the tag. So Air Jordan 11 Retro Low, and it says white university blue and retail is 175. I went true to size, which is my 9.5 and that fits me perfectly fine on these. So you guys probably noticed the difference in colors between the Soul Collector book and the university blue on the box. Soul Collector said Columbia blue, but then we have this pair right here, which is actually the legend blue. So legend blue, University Blue, Columbia Blue, they all look the same. I do not have my Columbia's out here because I am selling my pairs. In fact, if you guys are interested in checking out any of those pairs, um, there are a handful of the samples, like the rare samples on eBay that I can link to you guys that Shuzim is selling on his eBay, including some OG Columbia 11s, as well as the sample pair of Columbia 11s that I actually had that you guys probably didn't even know that I had. So check those out. We have already sold over 100 pairs on his Instagram. So basically he shows them and as soon as he has them sold, he pulls the picture. So the hottest items definitely sell really fast. So if you guys are interested, I would turn on notifications on Instagram for his posts through the week. But back to the review. So whether you call these University, Carolina, Columbia, uh, Legend Blue, it is what it is. I think that we can safely say that these all remind us of a UNC colorway, which is very fitting because Jordan obviously went to college at UNC and then he made it to the big leagues and went to the Chicago Bulls after college. And some of you guys might not even know this, but Michael Jordan was actually supposed to come to the Blazers and we ended up taking Sam Bowie instead. And it was the most epic failure of the Blazers career. And Odin was um, one of the more, more recent failures that we've had. So an overall look at the shoe, you could see that the quality of the leather is mediocre. It's not super fantastic. Anytime I have, I see white leather, I've just, it's never like super dope to me. It definitely has that kind of McDonald's leather sort of vibe to it, but uh, it's not bad. It is what it is. I mean, this is going to be a great summer shoe regardless. The original Air Jordan 11s were actually a uh, real patent leather and it was a really high quality, expensive leather. They've definitely trimmed down on that and you can see it's thinner than uh, some of the leathers that we've seen in the past. It has the rope laces that we all have been familiar with. On the inside of the tongue, it says quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. So it has the white midsole and then the icy blue pods, definitely a little bit different than the original ones. These are really, really icy comparison to the OGs that were like just clear. The traction parts of the shoe are in that University Carolina type blue. This is probably my favorite part of the shoe. Carbon fiber on the 11s and you can see it has that checkered uh, University blue and black. And you can see it through the clear foggy sole of the shoe. I, I think that just looked really cool. And you know, I like this a lot because I love foam posits and foam posits also have the uh, carbon fiber shank on the shoe. But that is an overall look at the Air Jordan 11 low in this colorway. What are your guys' thoughts about the shoe? Is it one that you guys are looking forward to picking up or not? I think this is definitely gonna be an easy sellout. At 175, it's kind of a no-brainer. And this is definitely a perfect shoe timing-wise with this release because it's 
Such a great segue to the springtime and summertime. Definitely a smart move from Jordan Brown to release this in a timely fashion. Thank you to Champ Sports for sending me this pair. Do appreciate you guys so much for doing that. I had no idea it was coming. I have no idea who else they sent these to, but I'm really happy that they did send me a pair of these. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Do appreciate you all for stopping by the channel and showing some love. And if you made it this far in the video, uh, major high fives to you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. We will catch you guys for some more sneaker content soon. Subscribe to the sneaker channel if you guys have not, and we'll catch you guys for some more sneaker videos soon. Peace, guys.